Hi again, it's Matt at the Gourmet Cafe. We're going to do a new video for you today by request. We have butternut squash risotto. It's a little bit complicated, but we're going to go through it step by step. This is our butternut squash. The hardest part about making the risotto is actually peeling and cutting the squash. But first I'm going to show you how we got these pine nuts. We're going to put toasted pine nuts in the risotto. It's going to have grated cheese, butter, here's the cooked rice. What we do is we start with the arborio rice. We empty this into one of these pans. We cover it with water a half inch above the rice. Just salt, pepper, olive oil, and bake it until it's dry. And then we take it out, let it cool. That's where we're going to start with. I'm going to start off with just a drop of blended oil. Okay? And then we're going to take the pine nuts and we're going to just coat the pan a little bit of pine nut, just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. You don't want to pile them up. You want one layer so that you get a nice even coat. And then we're going to put this on very low. We're going to cut the squash. First thing we're going to do is lie it down. Have a good handle on it. Take the end off. Okay. Flip it. Do the same thing. Now we're going to cut it in half. I'm going to peel it down. One. The skin's very hard. Some people use a vegetable peeler. I find it's a little tough for that. And I'm more comfortable using a knife. Take all that skin off. This goes in the garbage. Now, we're going to cut it down. Now we're going to stack them. So. We're going to turn it this way. in batches, that's going to be plenty of squash. Again, one layer at a time, you can do it a day ahead of time. Now we're going to season both. A pinch of salt, a little pepper, a pinch of salt. Very easy to burn, so I'd rather go be patient with them and let them toast nice and slow. Now, now that it's starting to heat up, I'm going to take a little vegetable stock. Right here, Danielle, I have vegetable stock. And I'm going to let that reduce. We're ready to add the rice. So if you're going to stick a step back, Danny. So this is a par cooked rice. It's cooked three quarters of the way. So that when people order this, they're not waiting too long. And we want to add a nice amount. This is going to be for a couple appetizers. Now we're going to go back and add some stock. And now I'm going to incorporate this rice. So, what we're going to do now is reduce the heat. I'm going to take one pat of butter, give it a nice creaminess. We're going to stir that butter in, let it melt. you want is a crisp, creamy texture. Now, we have already seasoned the squash a little bit. We're going to season the overall dish. So we're going to salt, pinch of pepper. I'm turning off the heat on the nuts. Carry over cooking for that. OK. 
Feel the heat. Couple on top. And there you have it. Butternut squash risotto with toasted pine nuts.